Good Monday morning. I'm 10 News Meteorologist Grant Gilmore coming off a weekend with record heat. Saturday tied a record high temperature yesterday. We broke the record high temperature. 96 degrees was the high yesterday. The record 95 set back in 1975. Yeah, a little warmer than normal, right? Uh, normal high temperature 90 degrees. I don't think we're as hot as we head into the work week, but but with the drop in temperatures, we'll see a slightly better chance for some showers and storms. A couple of isolated showers or storms as we go through the morning, a 60% chance for scattered showers and storms as we make our way through the afternoon. Most of the rain pushes inland, but still a 30 to 40% chance for some rain as we go into the evening hours. And then a lot of that rain will begin to dissipate pretty quickly after sunset. We'll start off with a coastal shower possible as we go through the morning hours. And then once the heat of the day begins to build, that's when we'll begin to see those scattered showers and storms beginning to push inland after around 3 to 4 o'clock. Most of the rain heads east. A couple of isolated showers possible through the early evening hours and then the rain dissipates but also slowly drifts back toward the coast as we head through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. A couple of isolated showers possible to start the day and then we'll find scattered showers and storms once again moving from west to east as we head through the second half of our Tuesday afternoon. Taking a look out in the tropics now where still a tropical storm Dorian approaching the Caribbean also invest 98 L spinning off the southeastern coast. 98 L will stay offshore, but tropical storm Dorian slowly strengthening as it approaches the eastern Caribbean Sea, currently moving to the west at 14 miles per hour. Sustained winds are at 50 miles per hour. As it approaches the Leeward Islands, we will likely see strengthening almost a hurricane by the time that it moves into the eastern Caribbean Sea. Tropical storm watches and warnings in effect for the Leeward Islands. And then we will very well could see more tropical storm warnings issued today. It's forecast to become a category one hurricane by Wednesday afternoon. And then as it encounters the land of Hispaniola and some wind shear likely weakening back to a tropical depression by Friday afternoon. Of course, we'll keep a close eye on it as it approaches the Bahamas as we head through the weekend. Meanwhile, Invest 98L still spinning in the Atlantic, now an 80% chance of development over the next few days. Seven day forecast keeps temperatures in the low 90s for now with a 40% chance of rain for Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we'll see a building chance of rain through Friday and Saturday as moisture of what looks to be the remnants of Tropical Storm Dorian approaches Florida. That'll give us a good chance of rain as we go into the weekend.